Hi everyone, uh, this is Soheb and you are watching my channel Design Curious. Uh, well, uh, in today's tutorial, I will share uh, my design which I have recently created for one of my clients uh, for his gym, fitness gym. So let's start. Uh, for the first step, uh, I need uh, the grid element. You need to go into the element section and then form here. Select. You can see there are so many grids available in the Canva element section, but the one which we have used for our design is the rectangle one. We will adjust it on our slide like this. So the next step uh, is about how to get this triangle how to create the bottom uh, you can see there this is uh, something like gradient or two-tone triangle so this is very easy to get in the can you to write the keyword blue gradient you can see there are a lot of uh, blue gradients available you can select any one of them so uh, this is up to you if you need uh, any other color like uh red or yellow you can simply change the word blue with red now you can see there are so many other options so we will select the blue one uh like here and then to create the rectangle uh, triangle shape i will slightly move it into a diagonal position then will i will adjust it at the bottom of my design like this uh, you may need to lock this grid because otherwise it will disturb you uh, to create rest of your design we will unlock it again at the end when we need to put the image inside this grid but before that we will keep it locked so what is the next step now you again you will copy Control V, Control C, and this duplicate copy. You will reduce the size like this. Adjust it towards both the outer wall of this this uh, this slide, and then adjust it at the bottom like I have done. So uh, you can adjust or move it triangle a little bit more towards right okay, and we will move this one as well. Okay, the next step is to achieve this effect. This is very simple again you need to select a triangle shape from the element section this one you can even select uh, the other triangle shape this is totally up to you how you achieve this effect but in my design i have used this one Change the color into black. Move it backward like this. Adjust it a little bit more towards left side. Okay. Uh, now you can see this is looking grayish or giving some unique look so this is the trick in this design for uh, to create this one you need a drop shadow which is available in the canva photo section you need to write a keyword drop shadow you can see there are so many shadow available but the one which i have used in my design is this one okay 
rotate it in the same direction where you have done for your black triangle shape and then put it on the black triangle like this increase the size of this shadow but well uh, you are not seeing the, this this effect why because now we need to play with the shadow through the brightness we need to increase the brightness up to 100 now you can see we have almost achieved this look i hope you have got this point okay now guys we will move towards our next step you can even duplicate it and keep it on the top of uh, the below shadow to give it more grayish look but as we need to keep it the same as per our design we will keep the one and the next copy we will adjust it little bit upward from this black triangle and we will reduce the size like this and we'll end it here or we will move over towards upward move it backward we will position it forward so that the shadow effect of this triangle uh, will be hidden under this triangle you can also play with the brightness of this shadow we will keep it like 25 or 26 again uh, still this is looking so bright so we can play with the transparency as well we'll reduce it up to 48 okay now to get this frame this is available in the canva element section you can get it from here change we don't need to change the color because it is the same which we need rotate this frame like this and put it on top of this triangle you may need to adjust this uh, shadow and black triangle as well just to keep the symmetry between all the elements so first we adjust it and align this frame with the triangle and now we need to adjust this black one we will move it upward and slightly tilt it we need to move it more now this is uh, giving us the straight line and we will do the same process for this shadow as well
now this is the element uh, which is geometric shape dotted pattern you can get it from the element section very easily and uh, to create these two triangle you simply need to copy this one and uh, reduce the size rotate it and create your triangle shape like this and the same thing you can do here Uh, you can see the border around this frame so this is also available in the element section under the shapes like I have used this one so you need to adjust this rectangle change the color into white and then slightly rotate it and adjust it under the main frame Now to create uh, these three lines you can simply select any suitable line that you want and then paste them here as per your requirement. I will show you the one line then rest of the line you can create by your own for your design. Don't forget to change the color into blue or as per your need copy this white triangle reduce the size so that the line will look small and sharp and then paste it on top of this above triangle you can adjust it Okay, we have almost achieved the same look so just uh, we discuss about the font I have used this sports world you can use the same or any other font but I simply like it for this design so you can use the same as well and uh, for rest of the text I have used open sans and for the uh, text under the under the main heading I have used the Arimo but this is up to you and for this uh, yellow one you can use any shape from here and then change the color into your desire uh, uh, into your requirement or any color that you want for your design or as per your client requirement okay uh, one last thing 
that is very important in this design if you need to put the image inside this frame you need to rotate it as well like if i have used this picture in this design uh, before putting it into this frame i need to rotate it as well like you can see if i have simply put it inside the frame this is not giving us the straight low so to keep it straight you simply need to rotate it as well and then adjust it here and now this is giving us the straight look you can keep it more straight while keeping with the angle okay now it is looking perfect in the straight direction okay now we need to add our main image so before doing this you need to unlock this grid and then put your image and move it towards keep it in the middle like this this is totally up to you or uh, they uh, depend on the image that you use for your design where it looks good you need to keep it okay uh, we have almost done with our design the rest is just the text you can simply put it wherever you want or adjust it as to your requirement we have almost created the same design so this is all about for today's tutorial. Uh, thanks for your time and for watching this tutorial i will get back to you with another amazing tutorial next week till then bye bye